This is the department of a Cricklewood factory where men make light by hand. And these are church candles in the rough, wicks of twisted cotton, the heart of a candle. Skilled chandlers vary their craft in no way from the methods first used by the earliest monks. Ladles of molten wax are poured down the wick, depositing an ever-thickening film until the candle is built up to the required dimension. Ingredients, too, have undergone no change since the Church of Rome first decreed that candlelight should be nourished by the melting wax which the parent bee produces. Today, the content of beeswax for altar candles must be at least 65%. Depending on the size, one candle may take several days to make. Only a handful of chandlers remain skilled in the craft. While it is still warm and malleable, the stick is rolled even, polished and cut to length. Here's how the chandler makes a second candle while shaping the first. With 99 out of every 100 candles made here reserved for church use, there's still a demand for the ornatic clusters, which dignify many a dinner table in old country houses. Besides their aesthetic appeal, candles like these are popular for reasons of health, many people still preferring their gentler light to read by. Artists apply the final embellishments to church candles that traditionally symbolize the true light which dispels the darkness of the world. <laughs> 